What's up, BOSUs? With the previous live letter, we know patch 6.25 is on October 18th and 6.28 is going to be around November 1st. We're going to talk about what you should be focusing on for the new patch and possible job adjustments. What we have coming for the new patch is somehow further Hildebrand quests, which are going to be the new relic weapon, so you need to be caught up on Hildebrand in order to continue. I would start this if you want to jump on that relic weapon from day one and there's quite a lot of quests so it'll take a good couple of hours in order to complete these especially if you're starting from the beginning let me know if you hate this quest line or you love them i plead the fifth also do you see this sick new glamour coming to patch 6.25 i absolutely cannot wait and try to get this glamour as it's giving me sherlock Holmes vibes that i'm obsessed with or even better yet a little bit more of a spy family vibe i really hope viera can wear this hat but i'm not gonna hold my breath Speaking of this glamour, it looks like it's going to be from the new Variant or Criterion Dungeons. They didn't really announce which. Variant Dungeons will become available and once you complete those, you'll have access to Criterion Dungeons and the Savage version of Criterion Dungeons. From what they are hinting at, these are going to hit really hard. I had someone in my Discord tell me that the item level requirements is going to be closer to 610 to 620, so you'll need to make sure to upgrade your gear, either buy it, craft it, or tombstone it. If the minimum item level is even 6 to 605 to 610 and you have 610, it's going to hit really hard. So you want to make sure to have the highest item levels you can. There are going to be a lot of special actions and pathways and all sorts of things when it comes to variant and criterion dungeon. So if you want to hear about that when it comes out, you can hit that subscribe button so you get all that important Final Fantasy 14 information. I'm seriously looking forward to these dungeons to run hard AF content with a close knit group of friends of three others and I think it's going to be really good activity for those who don't want to do savage content with eight people. Next coming is the Omicron Beast Tribe which you'll need to gather in order to start this and I'm just really excited to finally be caught up with the Beast Tribes because they give so many good mounts, minions and all sorts of other things so if you want to jump in on this in day one you need to make sure to have a gather up to max level. Let me know what you're looking for. To be honest, the glamour is what I'm most excited about, but it looks like we're not really getting any job adjustments other than number adjustments, which just is a super bummer, but they are pretty busy with a ton of other content. Healers have been under the spotlight lately and not having many players who wanna play or pick up the role. I'm gonna have some healer comparison guides coming out soon and just general conversation about the healer roles. It also looks like we're getting action adjustments in 6.3. One last tidbit is that they're going to try and adjust fashion accessories with emotes as we can't use both at the same time, but it looks like they're going to expand the system eventually, which would be pretty awesome for all of us glamour junkies and G-posers. Looking forward to these two patches, and if you want to watch more Final Fantasy guide videos, then you can click here.